Hello. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Um, if you are familiar with me and you remember me from four years ago, which is about how long it's been since I posted a video, um, and you got pretty good memory because, like I said, it's been a long time. But I am back. I'm going to try and start making videos again. And I'm going to start with this, a brand new knife that just came out this year. This is the Gerber Flat Iron. I just got this today. Today is the 9th, June 9th. Um, and I will show you. I pre-ordered this. This thing is still a little stiff. And we're going to talk about this very, very beautiful knife from Gerber. Very excited to get it. Um, so I hadn't bought a new knife in a long time. Uh, and I decided I wanted a new one. It had been about two years since I'd really bought anything for myself and I decided this was the knife I was going to get so I pre-ordered it. So let me tell you, let me look here on my little order form, how much I paid. I bought my knife from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I paid $34.99. This is the aluminum handle. It also comes in G10 which is kind of a tan G10 and it's a little bit more. And I paid $7.99 shipping and handling because Smoky Mountain Knife Works does not do free shipping. <sighs> so, yeah, too bad for them. A lot of other places do, but they do not. So, this is what I got, and um, it just came today. Uh, my order date was 3 9 18, and it shipped out almost three months later because it was a pre order on 6 07 18. And then I got it about two days later. So, I waited a long time for this knife. Let's talk about some specs really quick. Um, it's made in China, like most cheap knives. Um, it's got a stone wash on the blade. Very, very good looking knife, in my opinion. Very good looking. Um, it has got a cleaver blade. That is how it is described. I bought it because I thought that it looked more along the line of uh, like a straight razor type blade, um, which is kind of something I've been into for a while and is kind of something their knife makers are, are making a lot of. Um, I got this Rough Rider and it has a straight razor and it is described on the Rough Rider uh, website as a straight razor and you can see it's kind of similar blade shape there. Um, this other knife here that I have is a gonzo knife and this is also described as a cleaver and this looks more like a cleaver to me. Um, if I was going to describe a knife as a cleaver this is kind of what I would expect but that is how they described it. They made the knife they could call it what they like. Uh, overall it is eight and a half inches open Blade length is 3.8 inches. Tip up, right, <clears throat> right hand only. Nothing for this side. Uh, frame lock, and uh, it is a little stiff. Still having to get used to opening it. I literally just opened it up today. Got out of the mail. I'll show you the packaging. So I didn't do any kind of unboxing. Um, came in this box. Let's fold it up. Make it look nice. Try to. Right? So, came in this, this one of the box came in, and it just had the paperwork um, from Smoky Mountain Knife Works on the inside. Uh, I can say right off the bat that the uh, pocket clip is super stiff, just like really, I, I can't even get it to lift up at all. Like it doesn't feel like it moves, I haven't even put it in my pocket. A little indention there trying to do that. That thing is stiff, super, super stiff. It's also very short. Um, kind of a deep carry because there's not a whole lot going to be sticking out once you get it in your pocket, but not a whole lot to hold on to there, which is probably why it's so stiff, so it'll hold on pretty good. Um, you can see here that this side of the knife and the pocket clip, all of this is stone wash, uh, which really just makes the knife very beautiful. Um, aesthetically pleasing. Definitely, I can say that. But, brand new, out the box, it already had a little mark on it, because this is aluminum, so this is going to get marked up 
Um, not the end of the world. I don't really care. I mean, you may. Another mark here. Kind of like a, a scratch there and another little mark there. For it being brand new, um, that is kind of a bummer that it already came with several marks on it. But uh, I'm not going to call and complain. What I am more uh, frustrated with than that is the tip here. You can see how it's really nice line and then when it gets to the tip it just looks like they didn't finish off the edge very good right here I think you can see that pretty well it's just it's not finished properly um, so that might need a little touching up on this side it looks a little bit better um, it wasn't very sharp let's see have a little paper here a return or exchange form comes with it in case you get one that is nicked up and you feel like you want to do that. Like I said, I'm not gonna. So, knock over the camera. Knock the camera over. Alright, so I'll do a little cut test here. Not too bad. It's been a long time since I've done this on camera. Remembering how hard it is to cut things Go through the viewfinder. So it is sharp, um, not sh shaving sharp. Well, holding holding the blade this way, it was not holding it this way. It was so maybe just needs to be a little touched up there. Um, anything else? China cleaver. Oh, seven C R seventeen M O V still on this knife. Maybe shot here with the back, back spacers there, um, open, open design. This thing is very thick, very, very thick. This was the first knife that I bought. Um, like I said, it had been over two years since I had bought any, any knives, and it has been almost four years since I've made any videos. And um, in March this year, I just decided that it was time. Um, the reason that it has been so long is because... Uh, my wife and I had kids. We had twins. I have twin boys now. Uh, so they're a handful. And I don't like to spend extra money on myself. I don't really have extra money to spend on myself. But I did find a page on Facebook where you can buy, sell, and trade knives. So I started selling off some of my knives that I didn't use, didn't want. And um, that's where I came up with the money to spend on knives. I figure if I'm making money selling them, I can spend that money. That seemed fair. So this was the first purchase. Um, I'm going to try and do some more videos of some of the other knives that I have bought. And I have already gotten all of them because it didn't take three months to get to me. But this was the first one. This was the knife that that I just had to get. I saw it and I, I was like, I got to get that knife. So I am overall pleased. This is the uh, first impressions, definitely. I haven't really carried it. I haven't even put it in my pocket, so I definitely haven't carried it. It hasn't been in my EDC. So expect an EDC video for me coming up pretty soon. Um, and this will be the knife. And you can expect some other reviews um, in the future. And you can hopefully expect some more knife videos from me just because, you know, <clears throat> I do enjoy making knife videos and I enjoy carrying knives and things like that. So I would definitely say... This is a, a a pretty good budget knife, just you know, based on handling right now. I am gonna use it and I will review it, um, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, you know, it will hold up to my expectations. The lockup on it is great, no play at all. So there it is, guys. The Gerber flat iron. beautiful night. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye.